Let's start. Today we will see how to implement a navigation drawer in Flutter Android. Let's see the project structure. Here we have four Dart files. Main, drawer, first screen, and second screen. Let's see the first screen.dart file. These are the imports. This is the first screen stateful widget. Here we create a state object of this stateful widget, whose name is underscore first screen state. This is underscore first screen state class, here we will design our app. First, we have a global key called the scaffold key. We will use this key to open and close the navigation drawer. In the build function, we have a scaffold widget upon which we will build other widgets. The key attribute is set to the scaffold key. The app bar attribute is set to the app bar widget. Here we specify the title of the app bar. The leading attribute is set to an icon button, which has a hamburger menu icon. When this button is clicked, we toggle the navigation drawer. The drawer attribute is set to the drawer class. We will see this class soon. The body attribute, we have a center widget. And inside that, we have a text widget. Now, let's see the second screen. The second screen is the exact copy of the first screen. Just follow the code. So in our app, we are going to use these two screens, first and second. And we can navigate between these two screens using a navigation drawer. Now, let's see the main.dart file. These are the imports. First, we create the stateless widget called my app in the main function. This is the my app stateless widget. We create a material app and apply a theme in the build function. The home attribute is set to the first screen. So by default, when we open the app, the first screen will be loaded. Now, let's see the mydrawer.dart file. These are the imports. First, we create the stateless widget called mydrawer. In the build function, we have a drawer widget. Inside that, we have a list view. The first child of the drawer is a drawer header widget. Inside that, we have a column widget. Inside the column, we have an icon widget and a text widget. So this header section will act as a profile view in the navigation drawer. Then, we have two list tile widgets. One is for the first screen, and one is for the second screen. Here we set a tile, icon, and color. When the user clicks this button, the onTap function is called. Here, we call the navigator.push replacement function. So the previous screen gets erased and this new screen gets loaded. Let's run the app. As you can see, our navigation drawer is ready. On the top section, you can see the header view. And below that, you can see two buttons, screens 1 and 2. When I click these buttons, the respective screen gets loaded. So that's it. That's how you can implement a navigation drawer. Thank you.